y'all doing? I'm doing good. I thank the Lord for my being here. Uh, it's just a blessing to be here. As I told them like something. I don't know about you sometimes. I wake, I wake up in the morning and see like the sun like shining in. And I usually get to do my little prayer. Thank the Lord. But a week I got up and I said, you know what? Not only did I want to just see, I thank the Lord, but I went to the front door and, and opened the door because I had to see this last part of me. I had to see this new day that God had given to us. So I just go out on the porch and just look and everything was so beautiful. It was brand new because we did we had never seen before. And you could hear the birds sing. Little cricket making noise in the early morning time. They tell me that if creation can give early a new day and give the Lord praise, we ought to be able to do something and give the Lord praise. Because I got to win a brand new day. A day I've never seen before. Everything looked the same, but with a new day. Not only with a new day, it was a new mercy, renewed. Let me know that God was filled with what we didn't want myself for. So I, I, I pray to the Lord, I thank the Lord for this. I just stood, have, have you ever got in one that looked outside, you have meditated on that day? Not even worrying about what's going to happen that day, because you can't change what's going to happen. My will forget what happened yesterday, and thank the Lord for this day. And this is where I'm beginning to look at it. I can't change nothing that happened yesterday, before, the answer, but the day is a brand new day. I can make my plan what I want to do today, but to up to God if we carry that day out. So that's what I give him praise, give him his love. Just for waking me up this morning. Now I look at I listen to the Sunday School lesson that the Sunday School lesson always gives some uh devotions before that lesson so and I won't read this part here to you from John the fourth chapter and begin at the uh 13 verse. Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drank of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drank of the water that I should give him shall never thirst, but the water that I should give him shall we start over verse 14. But whosoever drank of the water that I should give him shall never thirst. But the word that I shall give him shall be to him a will of war, bring up unto him for everlasting. You know what I said? I thirst. Woke up the morning, I thirst for the word of God. Read you here the more, because you thirst for the word of God. And, and, and since we let the morning talk about the river of war, the, 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 uh, of, in, in, the midst of, in the middle of the street, the, as long as we live here, we got thirst. So I get in for my prayer. I pray that uh, the, the word uh, it be on my heart. And so what I'm saying is that I thirst for the word of God. But there shall be one day. The word that has thirst for the word anymore. Jesus said be like a living word that sprang up out of me. So I ask you to know the word of prayer. Continue to pray for me. I owe my devotion service to uh, and, and just to fit to get uh, I'm giving but I just love, I just pray God for every day. Every day that I wake up. Every day, you know, you don't have to say a whole lot of words. You don't have to yell to the top of your voice. And, and that when you teach that little children, please tell the Lord, thank you. Think about little baby. First thing we try to tell little baby, so you get to baby says thank you. Tell what, tie, 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 thank you. Thank the Lord for what you do for you. And then one of the devotions this morning said, Whatever God has did for you, you have to run all around the church. You don't have, you have to, uh, 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 you have to cut on for the Bible. You have to do it for me, but do it for yourself. Tell the Lord I thank you this morning. Give the Lord praise this morning. Amen. 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 I've never been one that really get very excited. I'm trying to help you out. Yeah, but so I remember some years ago that I was really struggling. 
really going through. I was looking for a financial blessing, but seeing that one, I never get there. So when that financial blessing came, I got the check in the mail. I, I, I went to the bank. I, me and my wife and children went, and she, she didn't go in. I took my old little boy in with me. And the lady cried her breath to get that little key to say something. You gonna share it in my foot. So she asked, did you want a lot of part? He said, no, ma'am. Asked why his name, he couldn't say that. So the lady asked him, well, Mr. Mayor, do you want any of this money back? I said, yes, you don't mind. I said, I told her, give me $3,000 back. But give it to me all $100 bill. My little boy sat there and looked there and said, my name is Lucky Bacardi May, and my sister and brother in the car, my, my mama out there in the car. I said, she said, you can talk now. When he saw the man, he thought, bless him. And that's what I'm saying tomorrow. I, you know, I'm sitting in this cool car, and I always say, he at least he got to say, but there are times in our lives that we get excited about that, that we give God praise. And, and I used to go to the ball game, I didn't never get to say a, a lot of times. But I'm going to tell you something. Those of you that got children that play sports in school, every woman knows the rules and regulations of football game, basketball game, baseball game, and let her child score, or let the empire do something wrong. You can hear all the way across the field. But in the church, if we get family in the United States, in the church sometimes we all get excited about God. We all get excited we got because we just get good in the morning. I'm going to church. You were excited about getting here this morning. You were excited about getting about, about, about just being here. So I hope the other let's give the Lord praise. Let's, let's, let's give God some glory today. We didn't come here to this. And I'm not like one cry say, God come and tell nobody did it. I'm just trying to help people. Yeah. Because when you say a praise up. I believe a blessing going to come down. Even the little children, she says, thank you. Thank you. Come on, somebody. Somebody, somebody know, have a song, have a prayer, anything you want to do. But, uh, let's give the Lord praise. Somebody have a song. Yeah, I don't have a song, oh. but I'm going to have a song. I do thank God for being here. I first can honor to the Lord and say, Pastor Lewis, Mr. Hyatt, Mr. Howell, to each and every one in the house. Truly, I thank God for allowing me to see another day. To let me be able to get up and have the attitude of my meal. And I took the intended praise and the glory because as I look at the thing today, if it hadn't been for God on the outside, Amen. where would we be? You know, we have ups and we have downs, but through it all, God is right there with us. And I just give him the praise and the glory on today because he all worthy to be praised. I ask y'all to continue praying for me and I'll pray for you the best I know how. Amen.
and look at that house. Didn't have no paint on or nothing. Did it ever make you think about where you came from? What we're saying, Lord, I think there's a couple houses between here and my house on Southern Fine Road that sat in the wood, old bandit looking house. That was right in a good home for us to live in when I was coming up there. Now you know I praise the Lord. You know I think, Lord, I think about having to lay for a girl's fan the other day, for and when you got hooked up, you don't have any good that put the budget out of current on fame. Yeah. And we didn't have a fame. Mm -hmm. And was set to a, a high speed. Then you reach for that grab the remote until you don't have any do that. It's all I'm trying to say, man, we see how God has Thank blessed you. us. Yeah. We are blessed. Thank you, God. We build and bless. All of what we've been through, we still bless. We've been sick, but we still bless. Because you could be sick and have to make up some rim to make up some milk. We get sick and then we call the drug stuff. We're blessed. That, that's how I want somebody to see. That how Amen. blessed you are this morning. He's yes. worthy and he says, Lord, I thank you. Could there be somebody else? I know it's 11 o'clock, but I guess somebody don't leave. Don't come for call. We don't come for call anymore, right? Don't come for call. You, you have a testimony, you're welcome to say. Tell it. Tell how God gets you. It might be helping somebody else. Amen. 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 Uh, Deacon May, I, 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 I want to um, thank along with uh, Mother Lewis said it's just good to be here. And I want to try something. I wish I could sing, but I can't. So I, I, I want to try something right quick and uh, see what this works. <laughs> Bit of it. That's what I listen to every day. I just want to say, I called um, um, uh, Dr. Knight uh, Wednesday night when she went on the call, so to see what was going on. I knew something had been going on, so I see she was under the weather, 
and I hadn't talked to her, but I did talk to, to uh, Deacon Light. And I was just glad to see her walk in this morning. I didn't think she was going to be here. I, didn't, I hadn't talked to her yesterday as she was doing. But it just, um, I was overwhelmed when I saw her walk in this morning. And to see that in spite of it all, you know she loved the church because even with she being down, look at these beautiful programs. So I just want to thank you. And I forgot to mention it during Men's Day. But uh, I want to thank you for all you do for Anderson Chapel. And I tell you, I, I don't think nobody else's programs can uh, touch us. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here to try to get the spirit moving here this morning. I want, before I turn my picture on one more, you know, not only we need to give God praise, sometimes we give people praise yeah. to give us. Yeah. And, 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 and for almost 10 months, 8 months, whatever it is, my daughter has been so supportive. She called me every, every day during her lunch break. She called me every night before I go to bed. I think sometimes I might be nosy. But, uh, I just thank God for her because she looks up for her pop for her dad. Yeah. And, 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 and her birthday the other day, I saw the crowd was looking up there and gave a little birthday job. And I, now, what I'm saying, I thank God for her. I thank God for, I, I thank God for everybody around me, but I give, I just, I give praise. To the Lord, I also give praise to people in my life that yeah. help me. Y'all, y'all understand what I'm saying? I'm just showing you what the spirit does. I want somebody to get the spirit, and, and, and she want to say anything. I put on the spot. She can get related, and she, she, and she, she been told how to get the Lord praise because she stayed in my house, mm. yeah. and we know how to get the praise the Lord. Don't yeah. the yeah. Yeah. And so you can get the Lord praise. Lisa, thank you for something. Thank you. Give the Lord praise. Yeah. The family yeah. gave him a praise. And I had never stopped. Okay, I know that. But I had never stopped praising God. Mm -hmm. I said, I'll check this morning to one and pray to God. Tell him about what God can do. Yeah. Yeah. Even sometimes I think I got hard on. I, I, I know what you're saying sometimes. And, but I would tell my family what right. I won't tell them what wrong. Now I tell the baby, I apologize. But I'm not going to change. Sin came in by one man, and another sin going out by another. That's the only thing I try to tell you. What I'm saying, I give God praise not just when I get up here. But I give God praise at the cookout. Y'all want to do a little slide, I'm still sitting there praising God. Amen. Right? I won't change. I give God praise. That's what I'm telling the church anymore. Give God the praise. When I'm sick and going through. I still give him the praise. I showed him a little couple of stones that I had a couple months ago. I said, how do you do it? I praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what I'm saying to y'all this morning. Give God some praise. You don't have to do a public show. 
do it. You don't have to do it for me, but do it for yourself. Because when, when you do it for yourself, when you send praise up, you got to get your blessing. I'm not going to get the blessing that belongs to you. That's why I want you to give God praise. Amen. 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 I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop before I start talking too much. Amen. 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 But folks, folks, she said, come on, everybody, just stand up. Put him with this. Get him with this. Little bit, get him with this. 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 Get him with this.
Uh, I've been very busy this morning. Yes, you have. So uh, <laughs> thank God for his grace and mercy. I'm not going to go down to the list of things personally myself that I've dealt with for this week, but we just will let you know that uh, as far as the church, we have a new PA soundboard today, so I'm happy. I'm having to make adjustments. I'm having to learn that system. Free conference call. You're sounding lovely right now. We, uh, got a little bit static and everything. We're still working through process today. Uh, and because I need to be a sound man today uh, and not the preacher for the day, we asked Dr. Knight to bring the word today so she would be bringing the word so that I can continue just to get this uh, kinks worked out. Uh, Brother Winstead, we're going to get your, get your mic right up there so I know that you'll be able to say. And uh, everyone else, uh, please uh, use the mic. And I have to give her tonight a wonderful shout out because she used that mic in a wonderful way. Yeah. 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 And we call her everything. Yeah. It's a wonderful thing. Yeah. I thank God for all that He has done, for He has blessed me, and He has brought me a mighty long way. I've dealt with a lot of things through this week, uh, uh, but I, I'm, I'm not going to lift up. I'm just going to say, I thank God for what he has done for me. I thank God for what he has done for me and my wife. I thank God for what he has done for my family. I thank God for what he's doing for this church family. I thank God for what he is doing. And he deserves all the honor and the praise. For he is good and worthy of all praise. Worthy is he. Worthy is the Lamb of God. So just continue to pray one for another. Encourage one another. And be patient. Those of you that are listening in this morning on free conference call. I, uh, you... Uh, switch over to YouTube in a little bit. We'll be live on YouTube. Brother Des is doing this. Uh, I think you're doing Facebook. I'm live right? on YouTube. Yeah, he's live too, so you got plenty of things uh, going on. Uh, but we want you in the house too. Yeah, Don't let all this live stuff yeah. keep you out of the church. Yeah, man. All the live stuff not keeping you out of the store. So don't let it keep you out of the church. Because there's something about the fellowship in the house of the Lord. Yeah. So continue to pray one for another. Continue just to hold on to God's unchanged hand. For God is good and great to be praised. Yeah. One last thing. Do not forget the revival. Uh, the Reverend Dr. Timothy Walker will be our revivalist for uh, September the uh, 30th, 31st, and the 1st at 7 p.m. Please join us uh, in-house or uh, virtual or however. But, uh, it's going to be a wonderful occasion. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank everybody for all your listening. Amen. Amen. Thank you. It's August the 30th, 31st, and September the 1st. She said the 29th because I think her birthday is something. Yeah. That's why she said the 29th. That's why she got all, she wanted to make sure that there was, there was something there. And, uh, my wife will handle all that later on. <laughs> but we thank God. Thank you for the correction. That, that again, the revival is August the 30th, 31st, and September the 1st at 7 p.m. Amen. Amen. Giving honor to God, Pastor Lewis, Dr. Knight, Ministry House, all saints in front. You are welcome to Anderson Chapel. The recording has started. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I asked the choir to give us the opening selection. Mm -hmm.
all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. <clears throat> they looked unto him and were enlightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord and kept it round about them that hear him and deliver them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Amen. Amen.
leading up. We're going to ask um, Deacon Knight, Trustee uh, Farmer, and Deacon Wayne May, that they will come forward. Um, these Bibles and hymnals are being presented to the new members for the youth. Uh, just to help them along the way so that they can have a song in their heart and a word on their lips any time they feel troubled or afraid. Uh, Pastor Lewis. Thank you, Dr. Knight. We're going to ask Jaden Green. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Knight. I didn't want to mess the names up. That's the question. Thank you. Thank you. God is good. He's great to be great. We're so delighted this morning uh, to do what has. Should have been done earlier, but uh, we thank God for just this opportunity to be able to take care of this situation now. Um, and I say situation only in the fact that I failed to uh, get it done sooner. But uh, see, I believe uh, when we had the baptism for each one of you, we came in as fathers in the This. When we gave you the right hand fellowship, we wanted to present to you a Bible and a hymn because we all know that the Bible is the Word of God. And without the Word of God, you have no guidance in your life. So we want to make sure that we present to you a Bible. Anderson Chapel presents to you a Bible. That way we know that you have your own personal Bible. You come to Sunday school, you come to worship service, and you hear the word preach, but you don't have time during those settings to truly examine for yourself. And through the, during the week, there are situations that come up in your life where you just need to be refreshed. And I want to let you know, the Bible is filled with refreshing stories. The Bible is also filled with uh, stories of sadness and sorrow. But the greatest story in the Bible of all for us is that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have life everlasting. So in your Bible, you will have John 3.16 that you are able to turn to. Not only that, but you are able to turn to Psalms 23 and find that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. Not only that, but Psalms 24 tells us that the earth is the Lord and the food is still and the world that they that dwell therein. But not only that, but it also lets you know that Jesus died. Died for our sin. So the Bible is filled with those stories. The hymn. Every now and then you need a song in your heart. And I know there are many songs that play on the radio. There are many songs that play on YouTube and the other streaming services. But there's something about this hymnal. When you turn in that hymnal and you go to the songs like, What a friend we have in Jesus. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. What a wonderful, what a wonderful uh, opportunity that you have and many other songs that you'll find within this hymn though. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. In your deepest, darkest despair, when you wonder 
what is life all about? How am I going to make it? You can just turn to that song and say, uh, because he lived, God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He bled and died for my sins and your sins. And because he lives, you can face tomorrow. Now we have asked the uh, significant gentlemen in your lives of this church to come and present you this Bible and this hymnal. And if they have something that they would like to say, we do give them the opportunity to lead off. And I'm going to start with Deacon Knight as he shall present the Bible to his that will carry them day in and day out in the Bible, dear Lord. Father, for we plead your protection upon them right now. Father, for there's so much that will go on in this world. Father, but we just need you, dear Lord. We are just leading and depending and trusting upon you right now. Father, touch their, uh, their parents, their grandparents, their cousins, their aunts, their uncles, who all are there, part of their life, dear Lord. Father, that we just may encourage them, dear Lord, to hold on and to do that which is right. But Father, you have called us to walk, dear Lord, in your life. You have called us to live as according to as you have instructed. So Father, right now, dear Lord, we pray a special anointing, dear Lord, upon each one of these children. It's in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we glorify your name. Amen, amen. and amen. Pastor, turn around right quick. Let me get a picture for you. Let me get one more. Amen. All right. I just want to say to you, because I am one of the youngest ones here, close to you guys. <laughs> um, the word of God is important. Um, no matter, your parents can tell you to learn that scripture, but if you learn that scripture, you memorize it. Also, seek and ask God for the understanding of it. 
Knowing it is okay, but if you don't understand what you're reading, get clarification. Even as a young adult, <laughs> um, I still have to get clarification as well. But I can say to each of you, as I look around and see the men in your life, a lot of you don't have men in your life that will encourage them, that will motivate them, so most of all, that will bring them to church. So don't take it lightly. Be grateful. Um, and we will definitely keep you all lifted up in prayer. Amen. 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 We're going to have, um, have our birthday recognition um, by the Mother's Ministry. Son, um, Camilla's the third, August the twenty fourth. Okay. Any others? We have two daughters' birthday in the month of August. Um, Maria's the fourteenth, and Mary's the twenty third. So three of our six children's birthdays in August. And I have Roy T for twenty seven, and Taki is being in time now. <laughs>
at this at this time, this is the part that everyone can take um, part in. Worship and giving um, by the trustees and the ushers will be in charge, and we have an offertory on the selection by the choir.
Father God, we, and when we see you, Lord God, you will tell us well done. You have been a good and faithful servant. Yes. And God, we realize we have crossed every <coughs> We have dotted every eye. But God, we are looking to be led by you and continue doing your will. Father, we ask in all these blessings in your Son, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
My husband called my niece and said she just will not wake up. I don't know what to do. He said, don't kill her no more of that mess. Mm -hmm. If I need to come over there, I'm coming. You know, it's good when you got somebody that's by your side. Amen. My niece, Francine, she's been a CNA for years. She worked with uh, DSS now. But when I went through my first cancer, she was right there. Amen. Amen. Learning how to, to put the bags on and make me more comfortable. She was right there for Amen. me. But now uh, uh, my sister-in-law was praying and, and praying for me. She said, I didn't know what to do, but I prayed. Amen. I prayed. Amen. And I called her once on noon day to tell her that you were sick and couldn't be up there. Amen. She said, I, I did that for you. My niece Janice brought me some food and said, Aunt Margaret, I need to fix your plate. I said, no, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. My daughter fixed the plate and I ate. And I began to eat a little. And I began to come back around. But it took some time for me to get my thought process back and, and everything. But you know, I don't care what we go through in this life. God is good. Amen. Just, all we have to do is just have faith and not give yes. up. Yes. And so Pastor Lewis called me on Saturday, asked me what I preached today. And my husband asked me, said, do you think you can do that? I said, I put that in the hands of God. Amen. He's always Amen. taking care of me. He Amen. won't let me down. Amen. And so to God be the glory for the great things that he has done. <laughs> But, but you know, you just have to have faith. Yeah. Faith the size of a mustard. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can speak to the mountain and tell it to be moved into the, into the, the ocean, and it will move. Yeah. Just faith the size of a mustard seed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, it works. Yeah. Yeah. It works. But every time something happens, I come back with a stronger faith, and I thank God for thank testing God. my faith so that it will increase. Amen. I praise God for that. But uh, my sermon on today is going to come from Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 17. 11 through 19, excuse me. Will you pray with me? My Father, my God, with God in heaven, God, I thank you for this opportunity to stand behind your sacred desk and to speak to your people. I thank you, God, for the word that you have poured in me that I will have the opportunity to pour out unto your people. God, hide me behind the cross that they will see less of me and more of thee. This is thy servant's prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Luke 17, verses 11 through 19. Would you please stand for the reading of God's word? And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were left, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as, as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud, loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? Amen. There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise. Go thy way, thy faith have made thee whole. Amen. Now I got for a, a topic, 
above all. all right. Praise God. Amen. But my subtopic, my subtopic is how you like me now. Amen. Amen. How you like me now. Amen. See, God has kept me here for a reason. I survived because he had a plan for me. All my bad supervisors, the bad management choices, the death of loved ones, the backstabbing from my co-members, co-workers and church members, the negative thoughts, the lack of executive support. I made it because I am blessed. I made it because of God Almighty. Amen. So now I release all past hurt. I release it. I let it go misunderstandings and grudges because I am blessed. I recognize them as the distractions that they are, for God is all there is. All else is a lie. Amen. So I'm not worried about anything that's going on. I'm not worried about any trouble that's going on behind the scenes that I'm not aware of. I'm not worried about being caught up in this and caught up in that because I know who I am and I know whose I am. I know that I belong to God. From the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, I belong to God. And I pray that you do too. Because the safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. Because I'd rather be in His will than in His way. Now, uh, uh, as I was thinking about this, I, I told, uh, I asked uh, uh, Trustee Dupree, I said, look, you think that topic will be all right? She said, I think it's just right. Mm. So I found these lyrics uh, about a, a British rock group, uh, the Heavy, I, I never heard of them before. <laughs> and it says, now there was a time when you loved me so, I couldn't do wrong, and now you need to know. See, I've been a bad, 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 bad man. Hmm. And I'm in deep, yeah. I found a brand new love for this man and can't wait till you can see. I can't wait. Remember the time when I eat you up. Yeah, it was a, it was a lie that you can't give up. If I was to cheat on you, would you see the threat through me? If I sing a sad, sad, sad song, would you give it to me? Would you? So how you like me now? Mm -hmm. How you like me now? Amen. <clears throat> See, no matter what you're going through, and, and you know, I wrote out a sermon, but you know, go where God takes me. Amen. 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 We look at people in a different light. Mm -hmm. We see some as good. Mm -hmm. We see some as bad. Amen. Some as pretty. Some as ugly. Some is valuable, some is invaluable. Some we care about and some we don't care anything about. Mm -hmm. We have our place that we put people, some here and some over there. Mm -hmm. But guess what? God sees value yeah, yeah. in us all. Yeah. 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 When Saul went looking for a king uh, uh, at, uh, um, at Jesse's house, Jesse presented him his older son. His strong built son, his good looking son. He left the younger son out there tending the sheep because he didn't see him as valuable, as material that would make a king. But thank God that God sees the heart where man sees the son. Thank God for God. He looked beyond your fault and he sees your need. He knows who you are, he knows your name. And he knows the plan that he has for you. Yes. Then we look at uh, the woman at the well. Mm -hmm. They didn't think nothing of her. She couldn't even go to the well with the women in the city yes. because they had judged her unworthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They thought, no, her knew her story and they spread her story. But don't they know that everybody's got a story? Yes. Yes. Everybody got a plan.
but Jesus picked her up. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus came yeah. and had a talk with her. Yeah. And she had a little talk with Jesus. Yeah. And everything was all right. Yeah. Yeah. She, she talked to Jesus. He began to tell her about herself. Yeah. He began right. to let her know that he knew who she was. He yeah. knew her past, but he knew that there was something worthy on the inside that if she just opened yeah. up and let it out, right. she could be used. And he used her mightily. Yeah. Right. Because he yeah. sent her back to the town and she ran and she told the story yeah. that there's a man and I know he is the Messiah. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody come running. Yeah. So sometimes the one you cut off Amen. You don't know what God got planned for. Amen. You can do that now. But you better be careful how you cut people off That's and right. push people away yeah. because you don't know That's right. where yeah. your blessing is coming from. Thank you, There was a woman with the issue of blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Twelve long years. Yes. yes. 12 long, long years. That's right. She has spent all that she had. Has seen every doctor she could see. Had done everything she knew how to do. But one day she heard that this man called Jesus was passing by. And she had a choice. To go into the city, she could be stoned for being around them in an unclean state. But the thing she knew was if I lay here, I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. But if I get up, there's a chance that this man is going to heal yeah. my body. Yes. 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 And she came to him as a woman with no name. Yes. But when she left, she left with a healed body and was called Dora. Yes. So he elevated her status mm -hmm. from being a strange woman to a daughter. Yes. So if you just trust God and move when he says move, yeah, right. God has a call on all of our lives, yeah. we gotta be listening so we can hear it. Yeah. Sometimes we're talking so much and got so many things going on in our life, we miss our call. Yeah. And I'm not saying he's calling you to preach. I'm not saying he's calling you to teach. But I'm saying he's calling you yeah. because he's got a plan yeah. for your life. To yeah. God, yeah. you are somebody. Yeah. Yeah. You are somebody. And you can look at the world after you've been beat down and thrown away. And you can go back and you can ask them now, how you like me now? Yeah. 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 How you like me now? That's right. That Jesus has come into my life. That Jesus has made a change. That Jesus has opened doors for me. How you like me now? You didn't know what I could do. But Jesus knew everything about me and opened the door that I could go through. I'm not running scared now. I'm not running scared. Amen. Because Jesus, Jesus is on my side. Amen. Jesus has got my back. Yes. All I have to do is put on the whole armor of God. That's right. And he'll yes. take care of my back. Amen. He's got me in the palm of his hand. Yes. That's right. Nothing can take him from me because God gave me to him. That's right. And nothing can take from the Father. Yes. But we look at these ten lepers. Mm -hmm. We look at these ten lepers. And all of their life, they, 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 from the time they became ill, mm -hmm. they had to go before the priest because that was Jewish custom. Leprosy means to be, to be strict, stricken, to be uh, uh, something snatched from, uh, be str struck. And what the Jews believed was that if you had leprosy, you were stricken by God mm -hmm. for punishment, for something yeah. you had done. They had to stay away from their family. Mm -hmm. They had to have all their belongings burnt. Everything they owned was destroyed mm -hmm. to keep uh, 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 the disease from spreading from one person to another. Mm -hmm. And you think about it. We got mad because they said, wear a mask. Mm -hmm. Stand six feet apart. Yeah. But think if they went in your house, pulled out everything you own and burned it, yeah. Wow. Yeah. sent you away from your family, yeah. ripped your clothes off yeah. your body, yeah. burned it all to keep the disease from spreading. Yeah. What if they had done that? Yeah. Woo. Mm -hmm. But 
but they weren't even allowed to go back into their home. They were sent off to what they call a leper colony, mm -hmm. where they, and they stayed around other lepers. Mm -hmm. Now we know the Jews and the Samaritans, they didn't associate with one another. <coughs> but when you in a place where you've been thrown away, you've been cast away, you, you're not accepted in your home, mm -hmm. those that you meet up with, you just have to gather with somebody. Yeah. And so there were nine Jews in this group <coughs> and one Samaritan mm -hmm. that cried out unto Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's not enough to just sit down and, and pray quietly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to make supplications unto yeah. God. That's how you prostrate yourself and you cry out unto God with all that you have, with every fiber yeah. Of your being. Yes. You're talking to God and begging for help. Yes. Man. And see, they had to cry out to let people know they were coming mm -hmm. because they were unclean. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. And so that, that's what they did. Man. They cried out. But this time, not just crying out unclean. Mm -hmm. They cried out, Lord, have mercy on me. Because see, yes. the first thing we deal with is their cry. Well. They cried out. Lord, have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. Have mercy on me. Amen. We've already dealt with their condition. Their bodies were covered with sores. They had mm -hmm. begun to smell. Mm -hmm. uh, the sight of them was just atrocious. Yes. Uh, uh, they, they couldn't stand to hear their cry. Their cry was just piercing your ears and, and just destroying everything about you. You just couldn't stand to be around them. But Jesus. But Jesus, mm -hmm. he had compassion. See, we dealt with their condition. We dealt with their cry. Now we're going to look at the compassion of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus heard their cry. But you know, every time Jesus healed somebody, yeah. he wanted to know if they believed yeah. he could do it. Because yeah. without faith, it is impossible to please yeah. God. Yeah. He wanted to know that you're asking me to do this, but do you believe in your heart that I am capable, that I have the power to do this? Do you believe? You got to ask and you got to believe it's going to happen. When you ask God for something, you got to know in your heart that he's going to do it. If it takes a hundred years, it's going to get done. When I walk away, I'm going to know that it's okay because he has taken care of it. And so that's what he did to the left. He told them to go to the priest. The priest declared you unclean. Mm -hmm. Let them be the ones to declare you clean. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when they walked away, they won't heal. But as they began to walk, they saw that the sores were gone. Their bodies were, were, were it was clearing up. They were beginning to look better. The, the, the skin and the scars were beginning to go away. Now, we don't know how far they walked. We don't know. We don't know what the distance was, but we do know that one of them, one of them turned back. Above all, mm -hmm. praise God. Mm -hmm. No matter what's going on in your life, yeah, above on. all, yeah. praise God. Yeah. That's where your help is going to come from. Yeah. That's where your hope lies. Yeah. Yeah. One of them turned back. <clears throat> and he came back and he said thank you. Mm -hmm. He glorified God. But he got something a little extra that day. See, the, the nine got the healing of the body. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what the nine got. Mm -hmm. And they were thankful. Mm -hmm. Believe you me, they were thankful. Yeah. But the one that turned back and gave God glory, yeah. who yeah. thanked God for what he had done, he got a spiritual healing. Yeah. He was reborn spiritually. Yeah. Yeah. See, there's one thing to have your body healed. Yeah. But that's another thing when your spirit is healed. Yeah. 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 One death. One birth. Yeah. Two deaths. Yes. Two births. One death. Yeah. You may not even see death. <clears throat> Jesus carries. It's all dependent upon Jesus when he chooses to come. But the point is that we have to understand. Glorify God. 
I don't care how bad it is. I don't care how down in the dust you are. Glorify God. Yes. He is worthy yes. to be praised. Yes. He is worthy of all honor and all glory. Give it to him because he deserves it. Yes. Yes. That one turned back. Yes. But you know what? We always deal with the nine just walking away. Mm -hmm. But we don't consider what possibly happened. Why they didn't take the time to go back. They knew they should have said thank you, but I, I, I'm sure as they began to see their bodies healed, now the Bible don't say this, this is just me thinking as a Christian. They were thanking God mm -hmm. all the way home. Mm -hmm. They were on their way to the priest to be declared clean, to return to their lives, to return to their families, to, to get out of this state that they were in. Mm -hmm. But I guarantee you on the way, they looked at themselves, and they looked at the people who had scorned them. Mm -hmm. They looked at the people who had shunned them. Mm -hmm. They looked at the devil who had just, just tried to destroy them. Mm -hmm. And they said, how you like me now? Come on, yeah. How you like me yeah. now? Because I done been to the Father's house, yeah. and the yeah. Father has made me over again. Yeah. How you like me now? Yeah. I've been down, and I've been out. Yeah. I, I, I've not had anything. Nobody thought I was worth anything. Mm -hmm. People didn't love you. They talked about you, hated you, stabbed you in the back. Mm -hmm. Whatever they could do to bring you down. Yeah. 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 But God. Right but God. Right but God. Right God made a difference yeah. Yeah. in your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God stepped in. And he let you know. Yeah. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what I think. Amen. I'm the one that loves you. I'm the one that cares you. I'm the one that picks you up. I'm the one that called you and yes. knew your name before yes. you were formed in your mother's yes. womb. I knew what yes. I wanted you to be. Yes. I called you out of yes. darkness into the marvelous light. Yes. I'm the one. Come on now. Man. I'm the one. Yes. Man. I'm the one yes. that's taking you where you need to go. Yes. I'm the one. That's loving you and caring for you. Come on, man. I'm the one. Yes. So you need to praise God at all times. Oh, yeah. Let everything that have breath yeah. praise yeah. you the Lord. Yeah. Because he is worthy. Yes, yes. Give him honor yes. and give him glory. Yes. Know who he is. Yes. Oh, you just need to cry out. Yes. Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord, O oh, my yes. soul. Yes. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Yeah, come on, man. Who forgiveth all thine iniquity? Mm -hmm. Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth the life from destruction? <coughs> who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercy? Mm -hmm. Who satisfies the, my, thy mouth with good things? Mm -hmm. So that thy youth is renewed yeah. like the eagle. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Yeah. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and great gracious, slow yeah. to anger yeah. and plenteous yeah. in mercy. Yeah. Yeah. Bless the Lord, yeah. oh my soul, yeah. and all that is within me. Yeah. So we can look at the world now. And say, how you like me now? Amen. How you like me now? Amen. How you like me now? Amen. I'm not broken anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. Yes, I'm strong now. I can yes. take it. I can stand the test. Yes. You see, Jesus came into this world born into a lowly man. Yes. Coming down through 40 and two generations. Yes. Uh, he was a carpenter's son. Come on, he had to run for his life. Yeah. Oh, but when he came back, mm -hmm. he began to preach. Yeah. And some just still didn't like it. Yeah. Some still didn't care about it. Mm -hmm. But Come guess on, what? Mm -hmm. He did what his father sent yeah. him to do. Yeah. Right. He did yeah. unto the glory of God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He went to a cross yeah. called Calvary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He went there and he got on that cross. Yeah. Yeah. And he died for you and he died for yeah. me. Yeah. No yeah. man taketh his life. He yeah. laid yeah. down. Ah, but why he hung on the cross instead of calling down angels to destroy this world? Yeah. He looked up to the Father and said, Father, forgive oh, them, for yeah. they know not what, what they do. Yeah. The thief hanging on the cross with him yeah. looked at him and said, When you enter thy kingdom, please remember me. Jesus said, This day ye shall be with.
white horses clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it should be to smite the nation, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings Come on. and Lord of Lords. Yeah. All right now. He's coming back yeah. with all power oh. in his hand. Yeah. 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 Give yeah. glory yeah. unto God. If you don't know him, in the pardon of your sins, Thank you. give him your life today. Jesus. Yes. Just come to him today, yes, yes. and he will give you life. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Trust in him, and he will lead you and carry you and direct you. Yes. Yes. Trust in Jesus with yes. all you have. Yes. Please stand in response yes. to the invitation. Yes. All right. Yes. 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 joy to the only wise God 
our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. 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 Amen.